Ashley, where are you headed? How about Trump land? What do you got? The small town of Bedminster, New Jersey, is gearing up to host the White House this summer, where President Donald Trump owns the Trump National Golf Club. And let me tell you, unless you have a membership, you are not going past the gate. Of course, the big question for taxpayers in the area is what will this mean in terms of dollar signs? We've all heard New York Garden from Tower from Election Day to Inauguration Day ran the city $24 million, more than $300,000 a day, and currently it's costing the city anywhere from $127,000 to $145,000 a day to protect the First Lady and their son at the Fifth Avenue residence. So I spoke with Bedminster's Mayor Steve Parker about what this could mean for their small town. The concern is that it isn't uh, unduly borne on the Bedminster taxpayers. We have a small town, a small budget, a 2% cap, uh, as is in New Jersey, and a 16-person police department. That includes our chief. So we have very limited resources. Doreen Longle, who owns the Bedminster Florist, says she thinks it's an honor to have the president down the road from her business. Yeah, there's always positive and negative, so, but I think it's a plus how many people can say that they have a president in their town. I think it's a privilege, so, you know, unfortunately there's always a cost, so nothing's free. <laughs> now, while many are excited about the possibility of having Trump in town, I must say down the road while I was driving, I saw a sign and the sign reads hate has no home here, which we all know is a slogan against President Donald Trump. I mean, this, you know, the the, uh, the New York New York went through this with Chappaqua, with the Clintons. Everybody kind of goes through this in terms of where presidents are going to be. So I don't know. I, I would hope that there'd be an offset with the business boom. President Trump being in Bedminster is a blessing and a curse for them. It's only for the summer, so they can enjoy, you know, the fruits of that tourism that'll come. People curious so. about Trump for the rest of the year, but during the summer, they're pretty much going to be screwed. Also, I did ask the mayor, do you think it will bring a boom to businesses in the area? And he actually said he thinks it will be a non-event because the golf course, like I said, you cannot get on well, to the out. premise. It's extremely exclusive. And so usually when the president is in town, they say they don't really see him. They've never heard of him really coming out and going to like a lot of the local areas. So it might just be, you know, closed off to his property.